So today I got my um, Coleman CT200 UEX that I just swapped a brand new Tilson 212 in. Right now it's completely stock, nothing done to it. Um, it's running on the original jack shaft setup that the Coleman came with. So today we're going to run some tests, we're going to do some top speed and some 0 30 runs and see how fast the Tilson really is. Right off the bat, the flight is very torquey. They just feel the horsepower right away. Um, the only thing is, the governor smacks you right in the face. So, our top speed is going to be very limited. But, the flight feels really good. Alright, 0 to 20, stock tilts at 212. All right, it's zero to 20 in 4.7 seconds. Let's run that back and we'll see if we'll get different results. Zero to 20, test two, till it's in 212. All right, 4.3 seconds, so 4.7, 4.3, it's pretty consistent, like mid-range four-second work. It's pretty good. All right, top speed run, tilts in 212, stock. Top speed of 29.2. 29.2, that's actually not bad. We're going to uh, run that back and see if we can match it. Top speed test number two, tilt to 212 stack. Again, 29.2, so we did 29.2 both ways. So it's a pretty consistent uh, time. The governor's working uh, pretty good. So final test results. The top speed was 29.2, and the fastest zero to 20 time was um, 4.3 seconds. The reason I couldn't get zero to 30, obviously, was because, well, it wouldn't go 30 miles an hour. Um, top speed, though, I'm very impressed with it. Um, usually stock Coleman's or Predators would only do like 20 to 22 miles an hour. So, it almost doing 30 just off the bat, right out the box, is pretty crazy. So, the next thing I'm going to do, actually, try and squeeze a little more top speed out of it, is I'm going to zip tie the governor, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So, there are two 10-millimeter uh, nuts on this side of the tank, and one 8-millimeter bolt on this side. We're going to move the tank so we can get access to the uh, governor's bolt. Spring. What we're going to do is we're going to loop a zip tie through that. What we're going to do is we're going to squeeze, we're going to squeeze this and it's going to keep from opening up this uh, governor arm 
and it's gonna let us like get some more RPM and therefore get some more top speed. So as you can see, the uh, zip tie is gonna keep that uh, spring from expanding, which in turn is gonna keep this, try and keep this arm from moving. It's gonna give us more RPM, therefore it should give us more top speed. Speed run, zip tied governor spring test one. Thirty-four miles an hour. That's a uh, five mile an hour increase. We're gonna run that back. See if we can match that time. Top speed run. Zip tied Governor Spring test two. Wow, like at 35.9. That's uh, that's pretty exciting. Um, that's actually five to six mile an hour increase. That is actually like really good. I'm actually surprised that the Governor Spring did that much. So just got back. Um, we did 35.9 miles an hour. That's almost a seven mile an hour increase. This engine is already impressing me, and it's just stock. Now I can't wait to do more stuff to it. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because in the next video, I'm going to do a stage one kit. It's going to be an intake pod filter, um, I'm going to jet the carburetor, and I'm going to do a Go Power Sports header with an RLV muffler. Um, stay tuned.